Mr. Boss, yesterday we began talking about real estate. I don't know nobody else that'll buy a $35 million crib and tear it down and do it the way they want to do it. Customize. Well, I did. Here we go, right here on Star Island. Um, I have easily 50 million into this and it's well worth it. My dream crib. But right next door is an empty lot. The lot, they only asked for 37 million for the flat lot. And before I show it to you, you know who I love to be my neighbor. So my rich friends, it's available and I know you got somebody that would love to stay right here next to Ricky Rose, another famous celeb next to me. So let me show it to you. I'm a boss, I'm gonna show you the. So right next door to me, this empty lot right here is totally available. It's only, they're only asking 37 million, which ain't much. Come on. I know you got some people who need it. Come on, man. Rose showing you this. See from there all the way to the illustrious Miami Beach. It's one and only. This is not these other country and places these other people stay. These other people don't have a waiting list for real estate where they from. Stop. It's a whole different ball game. It's Ricky Rose. Come on, man, you could be my neighbor. I would love to get wake up in the morning and hear, everybody get your roll on. Everybody get your mother. It's only 37 million. Come on, man. Okay, I'm gonna get ready and walk you through what I'm doing. Um, and it's just all about upgrades. It's really about investing. You understand what real estate is. You know, this is the fastest growing market for real estate. I'm talking about it in the world. Right here, right across the street. Google him, it's Ken Griffin. So my neighbor, he has five lots. He's worth $35 billion. $35 billion. Yeah. Yeah. We plan for Key for Miami Beach. It's a amazing, iconic cruise ship that you may see right around there. That's pulling out from the go on the cruise, but we got money to get. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in, and we got another installment of the new era of rap and hip-hop chess right now because everybody who's involved in this situation where it became a little bit of divide, disc records that came out, responses to this that came out and then now we at a point where between rick ross and drake is completely become a game of what i would call i guess rich shaming where they's talking about who got more money than who now that's neither here nor there because i can't afford nothing these niggas talking about y'all do y'all want to think when it comes to that and this really got kicked off when ross started calling out drake and talking about Birdman house and things like that studding and flossing and drake had responded and said it basically you need to chill out when Ross had posted up somebody auctioning off one of Drake old Miami homes and everything like that. And he responded, look how I talked to the turkey. You should have just asked for another feature. Imagine you having an $88 million to spend on the crib. Your ish be steals like you got them from a police auction. Your Star Island house on a silver of cheesecake. Your lot 40,000 square feet. My crib 40,000 square feet, Leonard and you put a wrap on your timeshare jet. That is coming off when it's the other people turn to fly. You Brett Barris worker, how many cases you got to move before you get a check finally? Should probably took a lifetime to see some real bread. You're Brett, son. Now you're not Rosé anymore. And then he also posted Rick Ross' house and said, hey, Rick, you're sandwiched in, you're sandwiched in which is home brand, because the vacant land not yours. This is the Miami starter pack. You living in the content creator crib. And you heard what Ross said right here today. In response to that, he wanted to go take everybody through a stroll and show you how he doing this real estate stuff, showing how he getting the house rebuilt and broken down and establishment. As I said before, I guess this is the new game of called Rich Shame. Then he posted this and said, hey, where's your yacht at? And everything of that nature. BB Hill Drizzy. And I ain't gonna lie, bro, that BBL Jersey stuff is entertaining. And this is the new game in rap and hip hop where they rich shame each other to get their jokes off and stuff. Don't seem like we gonna get no more music from Ross or Drake. I did like the Ross Champagne Moments record. 
that's Ross getting in his bag for sure. I know some people that ain't really they speed of music and things like that, but Ross was popping it on there. Drake, I got to commend him. He going back at niggas, popping his issue. Took a shot at Kendrick, trying to draw him out yesterday and stuff, telling him getting a booth and rap was to hold up, and it's all chess at this point. That's what I'm saying. This is rap and hip-hop chess. Because if you look at it, if people be choosing sides based on who they like, like Mo, I'm not on that. I'm going to say who music I like better. I say the game and how the game is being played. And it's all about, hey, make somebody shoot first, drop your record, then I can go back and outdo mine. We might think we got one better than them because it ain't just get off how you feel, get off how you feel. We in the new era with the internet and controlling the narrative is everything. We didn't see it. Your soul might not even really be as hard as another nigga sometimes, but guess what? If you can market it better, promote it better, get the people involved to interact with it more, or if it just, hey, nigga, let's go. You know what I'm saying? So we looking for it. I'm ready for kids to drop it, Drake to get to this. Ross, I don't know if he's going to – no, I do know Ross is going to continue to troll. Ross is marketing, as you see, because Drake is making fun of him doing the, uh, the Bel Air and everything like that with the liquor. Ross is going to continue to promote that liquor. He's holding it in every single video. That's basically like the 50 cent strategy at this point. My trolling and being disrespectful online is a business. Even to the point you see he's rocking the baller blocking shirt in the video. Also wore the uh, Drake merch in the video. And then he's jamming all the cash money hits and stuff. I'm like, bro, this nigga Ross is taking it all the way there. <laughs> he looking at it like, hey. Both people clicking my videos. They see my brand. I got a song that's streaming. I'm still going to get booked for shows. I don't know, man. Do what y'all do. Tell me what y'all think. We got more videos out there. 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.